Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impressions on the Urban Decay Wired Pressed Pigments Palette. So, if you want to know if this palette is ferocious or f keep watching. Wired, Wired is a 10-pan palette, palette of pressed press pigments, pigments and shockingly, and shockingly bright, bright yet ultra-blendable ultra shades shade for the face, face eyes, and body. And body. You can you use can these shades shade alone, alone or dip, or dip them, them into, into glitch, glitch, a pure, a pure white, white hue, hue, to turn to shades from gnarly neon, neon to, to perfect, perfect pastels. pastels. To save time, I did my face off camera using the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in Espresso. Next, I'm using P. Louise eyeshadow primer in shade Rumor 2. And of course, your girl needs to apply loose powder under my eye area to catch any fallout from the pressed pigments. Um, pressed pigments, as we know, uh, tend to generate a lot of fallout. Whoa, that's some serious dust. Okay, so right now I'm putting in this color called Savage in my crease. And Savage is a neon fuchsia. So I'm putting it along um, the crease. And I'm just blending. And then I am gradually picking up more product and then just um, blending and building, blending and building. This is a really pretty color. The formula of these shadows is very um, soft and very powdery. I typically do not like eyeshadows that are uh, powdery. I tend to go for more cream based, um, cream to powder sh shadows, that's my preference. So now I am blowing it out a little bit to, up to the brow bone area and then I'm just adding a little bit more pigment, trying to get to the right um, level of color. Okay, so I'm satisfied with the pink. So now I'm going in with this color called Jolt, and it's a lime green. And this is where I'm like, whoa, this is looking kinda dusty. I'm like, okay, we'll get through it. We'll get through it, just pack some more on there. <laughs> I'm just packing more product on there. I'm not even knocking off the excess. Just piling on the, the product. And uh, what's funny is, uh, as you can see, the product is just disappearing. <laughs> it's like the more I blend it, the, the more it's like kind of fading. So now I'm going to the other eye, doing the same thing, just packing on the product. Oh man, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty uh, this is not as neon as I thought it would be. This is called the Wired palette, so you would think it'd be bold, bold colors, and this is kind of looking muted. Mm. 
yeah, I'm still packing on that product. I'm like, no, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to make this work. Okay, so now I'm just like, forget it. I'm just going to go in with this deep blue toned purple called gravity and I'm thinking to myself I'm just kind of kind of smoke this out with this purple but I'm like what you look dusty finally I'm like forget it I give up I'm just gonna go in with the setting spray setting spray saves the day and you saw that I saturated the heck out of it like literally the brush is wet And, ta-da, now we're seeing that pigment. Now we're seeing the color payoff. That setting spray saved this look. Cause I was getting scared for a second. I was like, yo, what did I purchase? It's so funny. Like I'm so serious in this video. Cause I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating so hard because I'm really trying to make this product work. It looks like I'm angry. I'm not angry. I'm just like really trying to make this product work. So I, I need total concentration. But okay, so yeah, so I'm now I'm deepening up um, my eye look with the purple. <laughs> I look so pissed. <laughs> it's funny. Um, so now I'm doing the same setting spray trick with jolt and now i'm going back over and look it's getting brighter yay it's still not as bright as i would anticipate but it's a vast improvement from what it was looking like Now I'm taking that purple again, gravity, and I'm just lining my lower lash line with it. And of course I used the setting spray. And I really like how this performed. It glided on really easily. So this, at this point, I stop for a second and I'm like, you know what, I'm inspired. I'm just gonna put some crazy blush on. So I use the palette. It says it's for face, body, and eye, so why not? So I ended up mixing the color Savage with a color called Slow Burn. Slow Burn is an orange, and it's like kind of like a red based orange I would say and I mixed that with Savage and I put it all over my cheeks and um, the only thing I could think of was like yo I feel like Jim and the Holograms you know Jim that cartoon Jim truly outrageous truly 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 outrageous whoa Jim okay I'll stop singing but yeah I was really inspired all I need now is like that star over my eye I totally was feeling the gym vibes. Totally. So now I'm going in with, oh, I don't know what this is. I think it's a, a NYX uh, crayon, and I think it's um, from the neon line that they have. And I'm just going and lining my water line with this just to brighten it up with more purple. Okay, so now I'm removing the excess translucent powder and uh, wait for it. Um, <laughs> 
I I think I start to realize, you know what? It's leaving a gray cast under my eye, and it's supposed to be translucent. And uh, once again, it was the Kat Von D Locket translucent setting powder. So I'm just like, I'm not impressed. No, girl, we gotta do something about this. It doesn't. It's not really showing up on camera, but uh, in person, it was leaving a gray cast, and I was like, no. No, we're not going out like this. Um, on the top of my eyebrow, um, the eyebrow bone area, what I was using was that color called Slow Burn. And I just barely tapped into the pan and then I just put it on um, underneath my eyebrow area. So that's me. I'm adding more foundation under my eye to try to get rid of it, get rid of that gray cast. Oh wait, but 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 wait, there's more. I need false eyelashes, right? You I mean you can't do a look like this without false eyelashes. And I find the most outrageous lashes that I own, which are I don't even know what these are, sorry. There's some drugstore brand I got on sale. And um I would never wear these in real life. Um, it, not only do they not look realistic, but they're kind of wonky. Like one is fluffier than the other. So I was, you see, my, you see me like checking it out. I'm like, what? Why is one fluffier than the other? Like, uh. It's a cute, fun look, right? Eh. It's a cute look. I like it. I'm satisfied. It's cute. Jam! Truly outrageous. Okay, I'll stop singing. This is the final look. It's alright. I don't know. The palette's okay. Uh, um, I, I think I think I'm gonna probably declutter it in my next declutter. <laughs> I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this palette. It was on sale. It's cute. Um... The formula's eh. I'm not really into like, it's very powdery and this is not my, my jam. And the, the pigment, like you have to use setting spray, you have to make it work. It's okay. I mean, it's just okay. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if I'm sold on it. I'm sure there's other products that have better payoff and are easier to work with. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, y'all. Oh, girl, you got that upside down. <laughs>